Hey guys, uh, this chart is about to drop on great news. Okay, now the great news is potential uh, resolution on P stocks uh, surfacing in two fronts, right? So potentially Putin could have a meeting um, of some kind uh, or some kind of commencement of talks to try to put uh, uh, some kind of resolution uh, in Ukraine. And at the same time, we could get at least a pause. The great news is uh, this pause in uh, Israel-Hamas uh, conflict could uh, save a ton of lives. But this actually is highly negative for the price of oil and gold. So uh, using this potentially good news, you can make a ton of money by profiting on the price of oil and gold. So this chart, however, looks highly bullish. And you may be wondering, well, Leo, what makes you think that oil is going to drop? So besides of the overall macro strategy on this that I just explained, let's take a closer look at a couple of stocks, uh, NOC. I posted a brief video on this, but uh, considering the behavioral pattern in oil, it could drop. So all these um, defense stocks, big names in defense sector. So when uh, Israel-Hamas conflict breaks out, they all go to the moon, uh, then a lot of sideway patterns. People are not sure, is the war gonna escalate? Is it not? Is it gonna escalate? Is it not? So basically going sideways. And recently, just a few days ago, um, NOC sells off sharply. And the key ingredient here, not only does it drop but it drops on very sharp strong volume so people are selling defense stocks if we take a look at lmt we got a confirmation both of these trades were great trades for us guys on the short side we bought a ton of puts on both of these names and they, they one of them went 30x plus the other 20x plus so uh considering the behavior is the same Okay, strong volume, huge drop. Okay, this is a predecessor to an oil dropping. Now, despite, again, how you may say, well, but the oil chart looks bullish, Leo. Now everyone's talking about how oil is going to break out and you were bull on oil and now you say oil is going to drop. Okay, why today? Why should we, why should we even consider shorting oil today? Because look at this chart, Leo, it is just, look, consolidation, consolidation, breaks out, breaks out, volume accelerate, everything you normally talk about, right? But uh, one of the key ingredients I've uh, pointed out on this chart is anytime oil shoots above this level, this orange line of 78, okay, look at these tails, okay? And we're likely to get a similar tail like this today so if you fast forward this chart a few days from now what you're probably going to be seeing here is this formation so you're going to have a green candle equivalent to that one right here today and you can, your potential will have one two three four five selling days in the price of oil so expect a, an exact replica in parallel of what was happening right here in December We've got a catalyst that could come out and surface at any moment on some of these B stocks um, on different fronts. And the only reason, right, oil trades. All right, so going back to October, here's the conflict. Uh, Hamas, Israel, right here. Oil goes from 82, touching 90s again. Uh, since then drops and just go sideways sideways that's when we get the news well keeps dropping here because okay we're getting the news uh, United States record production numbers uh, China is not doing good anytime China is not doing good that's not good for the price of oil because it hurts the rhetoric for high consumption or the demand side so basically oil does this because you know clearly the case for uh, uh, lower demand is pretty strong as we're going for here but it, it is in consolidation stage here because uh look if we get an escalation well clearly i mean oil just gonna go higher uh but now that we got these potential p stocks guys oil can reverse all of that 
what is done from 68 to 78. I mean, that's a good size and drop. You catch a 10 point drop in oil this week. I mean, you're going from 10K to 200K. That's the kind of trade this is. So, and depending on when the biggest size move happens. So can we drop four points in oil today from 78 to 74? Yeah, it's a possibility. Can we drop another three points tomorrow? Yeah, so depending on what expiration and what strike you go with, I mean, for some of you, this could be a trade that goes from like 10K to 300K. So uh, learn how to trade options on oil puts with 13 market moves, guys. Call us early about this trade today. Trade it with the 13 market moves coach. The way you do it is go to 13mmtv.com or 13marketmoves.com. Uh, big orange button, schedule a call. Do it now, guys. Uh, do not miss this trade because um it could unwind real real fast so you know if you get this message maybe you're calling us uh, tonight or something uh, i'm recording this pre-market uh on the 29th i mean you call us later tonight i mean we already may have a green can a, a, a red candle like this here so this is urgent this is an urgent message guys so um hurry okay this could be a huge huge trade while the rest of the market is not doing a whole lot today, this could be the trade of the day. Short oil, as it's not yet apparent to the market, as most of the people just focused on this part of the chart, short oil with 13 market moves. And get ready to trade the earnings season, guys. I reviewed the last video, a ton of earnings, uh, big trades, but you can make a ton on this oil drop and going into tomorrow with a lot more in your trading account. So let's roll, guys. Give us a call right now, 13mmtv.com, big orange button. Click it. Talk to a trader right now.